Pickaxe. Hello and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with zero qualifications where we try and solve your complications. I'm Ravs and I'm joined by Harry and Lydia. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? We all good? Pretty good. It's time for Zero Degrees. It's time to ask some questions. (laughs) (laughs) It is time. Before we start, hangover check. Oh. Yeah, I, I, what's up? <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm on over. Are you, are you <laughs> all over? <laughs> no, only a little bit. I wasn't over for very long at all. <laughs> Just but a I little bit. It counts, right? It counts. It still counts. It still counts. We have to put that on the tally. So that's yeah. one. Ravs? I am well behaved and not hungover. Not hungover. Me, me too. I've been too. boring recently. Wow, been why, boring. Are you feel, why are you making me feel like I'm letting the side oh down? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, wait. I, I was the lowest bet. I bet the lowest number, right? Ravs went the highest. So Ravs, it's, you, it's you that you're only fucking over yourself, mate. You're letting the team <laughs> down, Ravs. Why Shit. the fuck didn't you go out? I mean, I'm kind of on a two-day hangover. It doesn't really count, but I do feel a oh, little no, bit. Oh, no, I'm counting that. I'm counting that. <laughs> oh, that's pathetic. No, you can't that do that. That doesn't count. That's I'm not like, commitment to the cause. It's not a true two-day hangover. hangover. It's just like I'm tired, you know? Yeah, I'm that's just, just tired. being tired. That's not being hungover. I'm not allowing yeah. that. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's not a true hangover. Yesterday, if we'd recorded yesterday, fuck me, I was dying. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank God we didn't. <laughs> Thank God we, we, to, we didn't do it yesterday. <laughs> we, we had to cancel the recording we were going to do after a cool shoot thing we've been doing. And that would have been a horrendous day for all of oh us. Oh, my think. God. Yeah. Oh my God. That yeah that, was, you guys would have yeah. been messed up. We would have, yeah. yeah. That was a bad, bad time. Bad time for everyone. <laughs> for everyone. Um, before we get into everything, I feel like we gotta we gotta shout out the first, the first official zero degree <gasps> sponsor, which is so cool, so oh exciting. I, Who would sponsor us? I know. <laughs> Who would? Who Rav? would drag their name through the mud <laughs> to be associated with us? Well, our lovely first sponsor is Sure. They've actually hooked us up with a load of microphones, a load of mic arms, a load of head, headsets, loads of. Honestly, amazing goodies, which we dearly needed. Um, so thank you, Sure. They sent us a lot of MV7 microphones, which are really, really, really amazing microphones and really easy to set up, which is mm. super helpful for me and Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> it took me like 10 minutes it, or even less than that. It was so quick. I was really worried because they're more like fancy, you know, quality studio stuff. And I was like, oh, mm-hmm. am I, is my tiny little walnut brain going to be able to work this out? And it was fine. You see, the bit that, the bit that I was scared about was um, like... In the past, I've used a lot of microphones and they've had very complicated like desktop applications where mm. you have to fiddle with a lot of sliders and stuff. And I'm not going to lie, like I'm, I'm a little bit techy, but I don't, I'm not like an audiophile. I don't understand this stuff, you know, to the highest level. But God, no. your has a really easy like little desktop app. So it's, it's just great. It's a really easy setup. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I've been streaming with it loads and people have been really enjoying it. I think you, you, you streamed with it, Lydia, a little bit. Yes. So I've been streaming with it for like a week or so. And like immediately when I did my first stream using it, people in chat were like, oh, it sounds so much better. Like your, your audio sounds so much better. Like there's like a clear difference. It's just much more like broadcasty, like rich tones and less tinny. Like it's crisp. way better. Yeah. Way, yeah. Good. Nice and crisp. Um, I mean, and I was using really like a well. busted headset mic before. So I mean, it's a huge, <laughs> the quality I, it's jump a is big. <laughs> I am, I am super chuffed with Sure because like I've been using the SM7B like for ages at mm. home for my stream and it just sounds so crispy. Mm. Yeah, I know me, you're a big sent, advocate. Yeah, and they sent me this one, and I've now got it in my recording room instead of the ancient, like, 2001 microphone <laughs> that was in my recording room, which is where I am right now. And, you know, I'm I'm digging it. I sound a lot better in here. Well, it's dope, yeah. because it, it literally means I can now call, record the podcast at home, which is, a, which is a really nice addition, you know. I'd have to Hell scrounge yeah. into the office if, if, if I don't want to, which is, yeah. which is Also, great. I like that. I like that you guys were like, oh yeah, me and Lydia, really easy for us, where I had to get Brie to help me set up mine because I'm dumb. <laughs> what? Rams, I oh, thought you yeah. were the most technically on, gifted man. out of yeah, us. Yeah, I would rate you as the most techie of any of us. What? <laughs> I've, I'd never done an XLR mic before, but you know. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's the advantage, right? It, it's XLR or it's USB, the MV7. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, for... and you guys, you guys are on USB, USB. right now, and you sound super good right now. Yeah, and yeah. it's kind of crazy. I think there's like an assumption that USB mics kind of suck and don't sound great but this is like I, I plugged it in with USB and I was going to go XLR but I was like this sounds like for my stream this sounds absolutely amazing so, mm, mm. I don't know I'll probably upgrade to XLR eventually but it's nice to just have less stuff on the desk you know not having to have a big fixed physical XLR mixer and stuff so I'm a, I'm a fan so thank you Sure. like thank big you, shout out sure. to them um, super, super generous um, there's a link that people can go check out 
uh, they got like a cool like gaming guide to set up a uh, gaming audio and stuff. So yeah, it's amazing. Like big shout out to them. Great company. Thank you, Shaw. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kisses, Shaw. Mwah. Kiss. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> this is a bit now. We're going to kiss the sponsor. <laughs> we have to kiss them all mwah. definitely on the lips. Mwah. Mwah. Next Make... time, let's use tongue. Let's French kiss, Shaw. Blah, 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 Come on, French blah, kiss blah, me, blah. Mr. Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> I love your microphone. <laughs> Before we, let's stop eating the mic, literally, and uh, let's, <laughs> let's do a question. Let's do a question. Before it gets too horny, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Oh. Yeah. For sure. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Who wants to start us off? Um I will take us away with a with a question that's actually kind of Christmas related. So why not? Why not? We'll do it. It's February. <laughs> it's now February. We're just early. We're just very early. We're ten months early. Yeah, we're already prepping. We're we're Christmas prepping already. Oh, days are coming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can days feel are it. <laughs> I can feel it coming. Um here we go, question one. For Secret Santa this year, I was gifted nine nearly three kilogram tins of Heinz baked beans. Fuck Could you yeah. please... <laughs> Lydia's just salivating. <laughs> Lydia, calm down. I haven't had lunch yet. I'm starving. <laughs> Could you please recommend some dishes to make from uh, to make or some other uses for the unnecessary amount of beans I now own? Thanks. Love you all. And the podcast heart. Oof. Lydia? I feel because like this question, question was made for me. It's so angry. <laughs> Personally, can I just say that's like kind of a great present because beans oh just God, keep, in the, yeah. keep in the cupboard forever. Like that's chill as fuck. The, and that, yeah, when the apocalypse comes, you'll be good to go. And like you're always going to eat them. You're, they're they're going to get eight. Like it's, so. Wait, how much is th- they're making it sound like they're really big tins? Is that I'm, three I'm kilogram googling tins it? Are, three kilogram tins are, are big, right? Are those massive? I mean, is that even? Could you even? Yeah, they're like the jumbo. Like huge. It's like, oh, a, the, it's like a pallet of beans. Oh my God. That is more tricky though, because once that's open, you've got to eat that kind of quick though, right? Because the beans are going to go a bit funky. When I was a kid, I used to think that the bigger the, the can, the bigger the beans. Oh, that's cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Stupid baby idiot rabs. Stupid yeah, baby rabs. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of terrifying though like the beans the size of oranges just like oh how do you you know, just like knife and fork it's like a giant potato at that point oh I'd love that <laughs> I would love that it'd be like is it in um, Christmas Carol is, or is it with like the little mice are eating like a slither of pea or whatever it'd be like mm. you know like a, a not piss but like the vegetable it'd be like that like cutting into it with a knife and fork I don't think anyone was thinking that you referenced <laughs> piss there <I> like... <laughs> Just a no, slither yeah, was of comp- piss for breakfast. That, oh, yeah. that was wholly you. <laughs> that was all on you. I just wanted to clarify. I just wanted to clarify. Um, all right. I, feel, well, I, I feel like what we should do is go around before mm-hmm. Lydia just takes us on a 15 minute journey <laughs> yeah, of baked beans. Fucking bean, baked 20 recipes. minute artisanal bean. <laughs> just so that Ravs and I get some kind of way in. Okay, we, okay. Lydia can start us off with our favorite baked bean meal. That's probably like a good place to start, right? What's some good usage? I mean, surely as as a bunch of Brits, we're all just going to jump in with the same thing. Like, I don't beans, know. Beans and cheese on toast is absolutely fucking sensational. Okay, I'm coming in with a, a yeah, alteration I'll... to that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Beans on toast, bang an egg on the top of it. Oh, Ooh, nice. Like a nice runny yolk. A little bit of salt and pepper on top is... of that shit. God damn. At that, point, at that point, just fucking cook some sausages and bacon and have a full English. Do you know what I mean? Uh... Like... You might as well, but it's like a, it's like the quick version, you know. Yeah, it's like a quick mode. <laughs> it's when you've got only speed got time run. for a quick speed run. It's a speed run breakfast. Oh I, my god, that sounds good. I might do that for dinner. For I lunch. really like I really like beans on toast. Like I'm not a hater at all, but I would say I think like jacket potato with beans and oh, cheese. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, and like a bit good of salad shout. or something is oh. just like mm. so good. I mean, I'm kind of like a just put all of the jacket potato toppings you can on a jacket potato like tuna cheese sausages whatever just like do it all and make it just a massive mound of food and it's just amazing do you remember we used to at lunchtime go and get that jacket potato which had like sausage beans Dude, and they cheese they stopped doing it they no! stopped doing 
It's so that was sad. amazing. That was like uh, one of my favorite, favorite things. Oh, that was such a good winter's lunch. And it would fill you up forever. It was like the biggest fucking portion of food. Yeah. I mean, that I could go so and drink good. so many pints <laughs> that evening. <laughs> you know, one of those. That's all I would think about while eating. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm lining my tum tum. <laughs> I'm lining my tum right up. <laughs> Yeah, there's something very, I don't know, something very lovely about beans, isn't there? They're just I very... I love it. Yeah, there's something really nice about it. But there's a lot of like British people that are like, I hate beans, I detest them, the sight and smell of them make me sick, and I'm like, what? I just feel like it's people, people. It's people trying to be like fucking hipsters about it, do you know what I mean? They're just like, mm, you, everyone loves beans, I'm going to be different. Well, <laughs> just you're lying to yourself because it's nice. So I, I have this friend, right? This blows my mind. When she eats baked beans, she doesn't chew the beans. She just swallows them whole. What? what? Yeah, she just swallows them. She doesn't chew the beans. I, I can't get my, I feel like you're choking. Like, why would you do that? And I think someone else told me That's they do it as well. probably really bad for you. It doesn't right. sound good, does it? Just swallowing yeah. it whole. <laughs> I imagine you're going to have like all sorts of like whole beans in your shit as well, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, yeah, like, you like, probably like, are actually, yeah. At that yeah. point, you're just making your stomach a funnel for beans. Oh, like, it's God. Not good. Yeah. Oh, That's it's, bad. It's grim, Tell her to right? chew. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She, she's, she says it doesn't feel right. It just feels weird. Like you're supposed, you're supposed to just swallow them. It's like, you weirdo. Shame her. Call Shame her a her. bean freak. <laughs> a bean freak. <laughs> have, you, have you guys ever just done like... um? Some oven chips with beans and cheese. That's oh my another, god! Yeah. That's another you know what? classic. I've, I've never cheesy done that. I've, ne- mm. I've never mm. just done the cheesy chips and beans combo. Because it's mm. basically just all you need is like some kind of like starchy carbohydrate plus beans and cheese. It's like yeah. the recipe to just like okay. But are we talking about like a shit chili version, or are we talking like uh just a no, chips with the beans sad, on the side? Just sad. Just, no, just sad. Oh. Yeah. Just sad. Like. So I'm like <laughs> Because, you know, I'm like, maybe I'm interested if you like mix it all up, you know, and everyone's just saucy and beanie. I'm like, mm, yeah, you can well, do that, that if you oh, want. Yeah, no, well, that's, that's still allowed. I think that works. I, you, I, usually, I get that on a night out usually at like 3 a.m. Cheese, chips and beans. I'm wondering, do you reckon you could like, like blend? I'm just, I'm just thinking they're getting a lot of beans because it's quite a lot of beans to open. Three kilograms mm. of beans. Like what's like a normal can? Like 250, 400 I grams? No, I, I have probably? no idea. Should I, should yeah, I do I a no. Google? I have no concept of anything. I'm just like, yeah, that's a can of beans. Yeah, it's a can. It's not, <laughs> I don't a, need to know that much it weighs. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this 415 is a G. I was pretty close. Yeah, I feel like this is a lot. So like, I'm wondering, can you make like bean soup? You know, I'm thinking it's already coming. <laughs> I mean, it is already a soup. You just have it's it coming. in a bowl. <laughs> but it's already coming in like a kind of like, you know, in a in a kind of saucepan container. You just cut off the big, the big kind of lid. You put a little like gas stove underneath it. You start cooking it in the can, and then you're mashing the beans, and it becomes like a kind of thick tomato soup. The, you're just are you just literally saying heat up the can of beans and eat it with a spoon? Is that what you're saying? No, no, you've got to mash it so there's, there's no more beans. Right, the, the bean okay. becomes one with the sauce. Right, so it's just a big can of mush. It's Barry's baked bean soup. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I'm now I'm like, what if you get like some Heinz tomato soup, you heat that shit up, then you heat up the beans and you mix them both together to make like a weird, weird tomato bean yeah. lumpy soup. But that's it. I don't feel like, but the thing is the Heinz baked beans, once it's all mashed up, it's just kind of sweet and tomato and a little bit thick. Like mm. there's not much other flavors. Like that's kind of just the flavor of tomato soup. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not right either. There's something, something terrible about, about what you're saying, but I, you're not when wrong. I think about, when I think about their tomato soup, I'm like, okay, that's like nice and creamy and shit. If I think of like blending up in a fucking Nutribullet some Heinz baked beans, I'm not, I've, I can't imagine that tasting like soup. It'd be quite grainy as well, wouldn't it? Like, the, Yeah, wouldn't it be kind of grainy? Like the beans, kind of a bit of grain to them. Yeah, texture, it's called texture. It's called <laughs> the, texture grain, you. the grain is called texture, Lydia. <laughs> I think that's. You need sounds... to open up a bean shop. Yeah. Barry's Bean Bar. Barry's Bean Bar. Have you ever had beans on a baguette? I'm trying to think. I think so. That feels weird. I think I've had (laughs) beans on like every variation. So like I'll have like beans on a bagel, beans on a baguette. Oh, beans on potato waffles. So swapping out like toast for for the potato waffles. Like anything. Beans with pasta and cheese on top. Okay. okay, I'm not going to lie. Beans with pasta. mm. It is quite nice, but that is a heavily depressing heavily that, just that like, seems just like that seems un, like depression un, era un, un, so, un, you, you know pasta. how i eat it's a, that's un, like pasta is like with beans on top is like 
uh, omega depression. Oh like, my god! Like, just, that's, just dry <laughs> spaghetti, like, like plain spaghetti, <laughs> and put some beans on it. That is that's like, what I do, dude. That is that is wrong. That is. Wait, like, do you actually eat that one? Yeah, fuck yeah! Oh my fucking fuck. god, dude! It's, you're talking to the person that sometimes as a treat when I have a bath, <laughs> I'll just have a bowl of beans what? and eat it <laughs> in, the in the bath. Yeah, dude. How much do you fart? Like, let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about. Fuck. Whether it's the next I'm top not, girl. I'm not fulfilling what? everyone's fetishes. I will not comment on this. Okay, because um, there's a lot. But I'm fucking, <laughs> yeah. Like a fucking choo choo train around the fucking why house. Don't you have, why don't you have more of an opinion on the farting underwater question? <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Sugar, yeah. Actually. I, well, it's early days. I was holding back. You know, I was, I was waiting until <laughs> later on. I feel, I feel like we have to clarify Heinz baked beans is oh. like different from what American beans are. Oh, you know, everyone's, everyone's going to be thinking, like, oh my God, are they eating like some burrito? Beans or something? No, <laughs> Heinz baked beans. It's beans and tomato sauce. Yeah, honestly, yeah. if America, like Americans, will have it in like their kind of you know foreign foods aisles, it's worth going and trying because it is really they are weirdly really nice. Oh my God, they're like, so good. It's kind of sweet. It's kind of tomatoey, and it's just got this kind of soft bean texture that it just kind of <laughs> just goes with a lot of stuff. You know, make sure to bread mainly, or whatever. Yeah. mainly toast egg and meat. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and the cover guys, it with yeah. sh- like mature grated cheese, like cheddar. That shit is bad. Okay, Lily, stop trying to talk about it. Look, after the pasta, you go get to talk about it like it's a kind yeah. of artisanal How thing. How dare <laughs> you? I'm an that- expert in the subject. I did bean tasting on my stream. I can tell you all the different varieties of beans. Do not try the curry. Well, uh, the curry beans were awful. And the thing that made me laugh so much about them is on the can. So it's basically like, yeah, like a takeaway curry flavored beans is like if you fancy an indian takeaway why not just have these beans instead and it's like this is not the same as a delicious <laughs> indian takeaway this is vile <laughs> do you know what lydia your pasta and bean combination reminds me of i what? feel like oh my god i've actually had a picture of exactly what it looks like it's check our discord channel this this, okay. this is the image that i've been imagining and it's so gray and horrible and depressing Wait, where is it? Where is it? In the Zero Degrees channel. Oh yeah. my God, that's <laughs> oh, that so grim. Good. That is so fucking mm, depressing, dude. Yummy, yummy. I, oh, fuck what, yeah. What do you, what do you guys think of the, the like official Heinz bean pizza? Oh, I want to try that so badly. I, I think it sounds grim. Like They oh. actually sell it in supermarkets. Hold on. Fuck Hugo. yeah. It's in, it's in our chat. I want, to, I want to eat that so badly. It, that it, looks so it good. Looks it, it looks like it would be interesting. <laughs> it looks fucking delicious. Also, shout out, because at Iceland, you can get hash browns filled with baked beans, and they are so fucking good. Like, <laughs> no, oh my God. Lid- I always forget Lydia's life is just controlled by the bean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's my one life is it. sad, and I can't <laughs> cook, so I just eat beans all Honestly, the time. Honestly, the, the, this, this picture of baked beans with... Um, people have to Google, you can just Google baked yeah. beans on pasta, and you'll find the very depressing tray of pasta with baked uh, beans on top. It reminds me of, like, you know those, like, TikTok, uh, like, shorts of, like, mums cooking? And they're like, <laughs> just like, you know, it's like, it's like two kilograms of, of pasta. And then they just pour like mayonnaise on it. And then just like, yeah. they pour just like vinegar and then baked beans. And it's like, mm. that's a meal. And they mix it on like the kitchen counter or whatever. Oh it's my like, God, I hate those. That's how I just imagine Lydia cooks. It's just like, <laughs> oh wow, pasta on kitchen counter. No, what did it need? Beans. <laughs> I think you probably have beans with every fucking meal if you can. Lydia. Oh yeah, like, Christmas yeah. dinner beans. Fuck yeah. Fucking. Okay, what's the line? <laughs> Where will you stop? Well, the thing is, like, usually I get like hyper fixated with certain food and I'll eat it all the time. Like at the moment, I'm going through my bagel era, where all I want to do is eat bagels full <laughs> of beans. ham and cheese. No, 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 be- no beans, no beans in this. This is okay. just American cheese slices with but ham. But you don't try it. I mean, yeah, I've had it in the past. Of course, I'm, you know, I'm not an idiot. Of course, I've tried it. Um, so that's my current obsession. But be, I've ne- but then usually I eat it so much that I get a bit sick of it. Never happened with beans. Beans has been my, the one constant in my life. I've never got sick of eating beans. Are you going to get a bean tattoo? <laughs> Fuck yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, that's my next, that's my next tattoo. That's I, my next. You know what? I, you should track. I want you to... What I wanted you to do, Lydia, is start tallying every time you go to the <laughs> shop and buy some beans. I just want to know how many beans you can choose. I need to know the bean can. Yeah, Re- like if, the if bean you can give us like the data for a month, we can extrapolate that of how many beans you've eaten in your life. And oh I my god! That is just—I want to know what that number is. 
Recently, I've just been going to the corner shop and buying like a single can of beans with sausages in it. And I think the man's <laughs> feeling really sorry for me because I keep going that's, in there to buy my single can. That's, that's, that's also buy... so fucking awkward because there's no like self-checkout. You have to go <laughs> yeah, to the fucking to counter and like self-report yourself to this nice old guy that your <laughs> your current existence is fueled purely by canned beans with tiny sausages in. Don't sausages, they're just bits of pig. No, well, I don't even know what they are. They're great though. Oh my God, I, I love them. I wonder if he's like clocked on though. I wonder like if you bring up the beans and this time you got a packet of spaghetti and then like <laughs> he looks at you a bit weird. Then the next time you bring up beans and a bagel and he's like, what the fuck is going on here? Ooh, she's beans brunching out. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, so yeah, feel free to use any of those meal ideas for a, a yeah, I mean, Lydia's been, treat. Lydia's been fine. Lydia hasn't struggled at all. So good luck. Good luck question asker. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. All right, I can't believe we just talked about beans for 20, 20 minutes. minutes. I know, this episode <laughs> is instantly beans. Like, it's the bean episode. It's the, it's the bean, bean episode. episode. Yeah. Brought to you by Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next question. Hey guys, hope January is treating you well. My question is, with Valentine's Day coming up, what's your strangest or most awkward Valentine's Day experience ever? My worst Valentine's experience was back when I was at secondary school. I was a goody two-shoes and was going out with my tutor group's bad boy. Like Mm. any besotted naive teen, I was hoping for a single red rose or some other tacky token gift. The day comes around and my boyfriend turns up at school with some fake roses wrapped in a napkin for me. That was fine until I later found out that people had seen him raiding the roses from the cemetery he had to walk past to get to school and then grabbing the napkin at the cafe next door i was mortified needless to say we didn't work out hopefully you've got some tragic tales like mine nowadays i i expect for valentine's is to be tucked up on the sofa with my husband sharing cat memes take care oh that's lovely oh like not the not not the funeral thing but the (laughs) cuddled up on the sofa with cat memes is cute that (laughs) might be one of the most wonderfully written questions we've ever received yeah. that is a very good question the highs and just, lows there just That's a hilarious. nice little story well framed Aww. thank you oh my god he got them from the cemetery that someone put those flowers on there for their dead person and uh, he nicked them and gave them to his girlfriend maybe well, it's they're like not the, body using them anymore are they <laughs> yeah, so maybe it's the emo goffy bit of me but I kind of rate that I, kinda, I, I don't rate stealing but I do rate I, I like to think that they were growing in the cemetery well, they did They're say fake. reading. They're fake. Yeah. <laughs> so they were just probably like lying on the fucking freshly done grave and he nicked them. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny? I feel like as I've grown grown older, <laughs> grown older, I'm dying. Uh, <laughs> I just feel like I care less and less about Valentine's Day. I feel like as a kid, it was one of those things that I was so stressed about. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh no, I don't have a Valentine's. Oh, this yeah, is the I thought, yeah. Crush- yeah, I thought it was like a big moment. thing. <laughs> it's like it was crushing moment of the year. No, not Valentine's Day. I have to be reminded minded and no one liked me like that no oh, <laughs> like, it's that, true though isn't it it was a it, huge deal at school i feel like did you 12 year old me blasting lincoln park on valentine's <laughs> day and shit <laughs> <laughs> what song what song uh oh my god it's just i've so become it. so numb just crying and rocking back and forth <laughs> no i think they literally have a song called valentine's day actually oh, yeah. <laughs> The, um, I remember the teachers at my, my primary school one time, they made us do like anonymous Valentine's Day letters and they had like a post box and stuff. Oh my God. And post it. But and, and I, I don't know. I think looking back, they must have just like ensured that everyone received an anonymous letter. But yeah. all it led to was just everyone not working for the day when they received their letters. So like you would address it to who you wanted it to go to, right? Mm. But then like you wouldn't sign it. But then like, Everyone just basically spent the day looking and trying to like steal people's like textbooks and compare the fucking handwriting. Oh, <laughs> to try and, like, like a detective people, thing. To, like, out people and stuff. And so I, after that, I think they were like, wow, we can never do we this can't again. Do this. Like, the kids are just like trying to bully each other. Like, this isn't like a cute thing that's like, oh, they're making friends. It's like, no, no, no. Like, you know, J- Jerry's got his <laughs> got his textbook stolen. They won't give it back until they can compare the handwriting. <laughs> like, Jerry. <laughs> oh, but like, how did they make sure that everyone got one though? I don't. I, I assume maybe like teachers. Teachers wrote some. Wrote some. <laughs> if, so teachers, if teachers oh. wrote them, that's weird. This that fuck. is weird. No, it was Dear like, Jerry, it, like, I we, fancy the pants <laughs> of you. <laughs> Love I Mrs. Robinson. I want to give you my last bait bead from Mrs. <laughs> Robinson. <laughs> Dear what? Jeremy, eat my bean. <laughs> oh, oh no, my Mrs. Robinson. 
<laughs> the double entendre going right over Jeremy's head. <laughs> <laughs> did you um? Did you guys have it at school where you could buy a rose for someone and like someone would come in during a class and like go and give the person that rose? Like someone was like, I don't know, the helper for that day. Was that a service you had? Yeah. No, I I don't think we yeah, actually do, did anything. I do I things. do remember that, but I just remember not. I remember being like, "That's a scam." <laughs> I, I never I, I never I never got a rose, but I remember it was like embarrassed. Well, I didn't know because I didn't get one, but I remember like a girl who I knew getting one, but it's she was the only one, and everyone's staring at her and like, "Oh, who got you that?" And it just seemed like I don't know, actually quite an embarrassing and cringy thing. Yeah, I. It's like that's it's weird public displays of affection, right? Mm. You know, like okay, cool, privately maybe that's a nice moment, but like doing that in front of everyone, does everyone have to share in that moment? Like, like it's cringe. Yeah, just like that secondhand awkwardness for that person. Uh, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's with your like with your partners and stuff. Like, do you do something for Valentine's Day, or are you just like, nah, it's just a bullshit I mean, I, I corporation? I, I, I don't do dates. I forget that it's happening most of the time. <laughs> My partner just crying. They're just crying. Just crying. They're crying. It sucks. You know, I'm like, what is this? The 15th of February, isn't it? Silent. I'm like, it's I'm my birthday. I blame the blogger game. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. No. I don't, I'm not a big. I don't. I just feel like, you know, it's just every day can be Valentine's Day, guys. Oh. Right? Yeah. Oh, my God. How Harry. Sweet. Fucking preaching what I. I teaching. I, I <laughs> shout every year about Pancake Tuesday. Fuck yeah, Pancake show, show Tuesday. Tuesday. Eat Tuesday. pancakes. Eat pan Shrove Tuesday. Eat pancakes whenever the fuck you want. You can eat them whenever. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Do it whenever the fuck. Today. Today's Valentine's Day. Yeah, today's Happy Valentine's. Valentine's. Bitches. This, Bitches. Sounds, this sounds like an excuse for someone that doesn't want to fuck. That doesn't have to get any presents or something. I don't want to fuck. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, the boy don't want to fuck. I Lydia. don't want to he fuck. Don't, you cannot make the boy fuck. <laughs> I will not do a I, Valentine's fuck. A boy I decide to the bed, but when you it's cannot Valentine's make him do Day. the fuck. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I do, I do, do stuff for Valentine's Day. Um, it's, but it's just like dinner. That's like, that's mm, like pretty much. But it's mm. like I, I'm just like everything is more expensive. Everything's busier and overbooked. Like why? Why would like? I, I hate the stress of having to book something. Like oh, it's coming up. I should probably fucking book something now. Like it does my tits in. Stress me out. I don't. I, I feel like if you want to just have a cute shit, you know. Show of affection. Just do it. <laughs> no, no, don't, yeah, don't, you don't need don't, to have a day to do, do it. Don't do it on this random ass day in the middle of winter when everyone's a bit sad. Like, <laughs> don't do it because don't do it because you're told to do it. Like, yeah, for real. Yeah, do it because you it. want to do it. Do it because it feels good. <laughs> you feel good. Yeah, do it on like fucking uh, September fourth. <laughs> there we go, everyone. Rainy. You heard it first. That's it. That's it's it. a new Valentine's Day. <laughs> September 4th. You know, like a shit rainy September 4th. They're not expecting nothing. You come in with some chocolates and some flowers <laughs> and be like, bitch, we're going to get some pasta. <laughs> with, beans. with beans on it. I'm with cooking, beans I'm on it. I'm cooking you the Lydia special. <laughs> what were you Hell saying, yeah. Lydia? Uh, she said, I feel like when I was younger, like like in my early 20s or whatever, it was a big deal. Like I would make, I would like hand make a card for my boyfriend and, you know, you'd book like a fancy restaurant. And like the older I get, the less I give a shit. Like definitely agree with you there, Harry. Like I, I don't even know, really notice it anymore. I think it's nice maybe if you go out for dinner or whatever, but fuck like, yeah, like, you, you know, doing all this cards and roses and chocolates and shit like that. It is just a bit. I don't know. Maybe you just become a bit more jaded the older you get. It doesn't I think feel the, like a big deal anymore. A lot of those things are meant to what they're what they're like what they're there to do is they're there to show that you thought about someone and you do yeah. care. And yeah. you can do that through so many other ways. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it doesn't I, I feel like it's such a lame kind of yeah. gesture and there's so much but, more real ways of, of showing it. And you know, if people do whatever makes fuck it makes whatever make whatever makes you happy. But like mm. but for me it's like I just can't I can't cope with that stuff. Are you guys getting that with like other holidays as well? Like, as I'm getting older, I'm finding myself just not caring as much about things. Like even my birthday, man. Like I'd never make a big deal out of it. I'm yeah. thirty this year. People usually do like a thirty. Wow, you're thing. dying. You're dying. I'm, I'm dying. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna fucking dying, man. Very old. I'm gonna be thirty. Very in August. old. I'm just like, Ancient. Some would say right. I'm just like mm, decrepit. Yeah. Was that? Sorry. <laughs> but I'm just like I'm, I'm just not even thinking about. It. I'm like yeah, whatever. I was fucking. Go to the pub or something, you know. Like, yeah, fuck. Christmas. This last Christmas just didn't feel like Christmas. It's no, like, I, I, and, yeah. I think Christmas is the one that I just because it's 
the one where you see people. There's like a reason to bring people together. I think that one will always be a little bit different. But mm. every other holiday, I'm not. I'm not big. I mean, I've never been a big Halloween boy. I don't. I don't do Easter and stuff. That's because you're like, the bonfire man. Oh yeah, yeah I'm a that's a big boy. deal. You're a bonfire boy. But again, that's a reason to you know. There's something actually happening. It's like a you know celebration that happens there. So I feel like that. That's like a, a different thing. But I, mm. I, I guess it's just, is it just fatigue? We've just experienced so many of them. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But like, oh, maybe that may be it. You, you get know, so you're used to something, right? The more you quite, do it, the less novelty you know, it has. When you're a kid, it's like, wow, we've got to wait a year for another one of these. That's so long. And mm. it's like, now it's like, waiting a year. Oh, fuck, that will be around really soon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh well, my God, just flies by Christmas now. again. Yeah. I think also as you become like an adult, Christmas Christmas and these holidays just becomes a lot about spending money. And I'm not yeah. trying to be like super like shrewd, but like, it's just like, oh fuck. Okay, well, I guess it's like just dumping money into the, into the money hole of Christmas and yeah. dumping money into the money hole of Valentine's Day, which will, you know, will, will bring joy and whatever, but like, great. <laughs> Basically, if Harry's saying, let's stop celebrating. Let's just stop. Let's just stop. Let's so everyone just stop celebrating. Just stop celebrating. Let's just go to the cemetery. It. Let's rob some flowers. Just rob Let's the dead. Rob the dead. <laughs> Tax the rich. Rob the dead. Eat, also, eat okay. pasta with baked bean. Yes. Exactly. Here we go. There we go. And do random nice things instead yeah. of doing them on the day you're told to, fucker. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, but Ravs um, has really got. Ravs hates the audience today. Ravs is he like, right, you he's are, angry. He's an angry no, boy. He's like you know putting his hate... finger in their chest. Yeah, listen here. <laughs> <laughs> you show but, your no. appreciation for your loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> I just I hate being told what to do on a certain day. I think that's the thing. Mm. I I like you know like pancake Tuesday. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a pancake no. when I want. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. No I'm telling you to eat I'm pancakes. I'm having that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I no, but I. I think that's really interesting, right? Like, I feel like that's kind of a generational shift. I feel like the tradition, like, we're not, our generation is not very traditionalist. Like, we don't, I don't yeah. feel like many people feel attachment to some of these holidays and these celebrations and these ideas. Mm. I think maybe, may, and maybe that's because some of them have become, like, super corporatized, right? Like, that's that's a lot of why I feel stung yeah, on Valentine's like, Day. That it's Hallmark about, comedies. It's all about buying a card yeah. and buying some flowers, and it's not about what it should be about, right? Which is, yeah, showing the person that you love them. Yeah. Oh, isn't that meaningful? Oh, we, 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 that, oh, I just say sorry, say sorry, someone say something stupid, Sweet. it's too sentimental. Uh, <laughs> uh, this this uh, one says, uh, eat her ass, eat her ass. Yeah, eat, eat her fucking <laughs> farter, do it. Get in there. Eat, eat her, get, get to eat the baby pasta, then eat the fart. <laughs> no, do it. Do the, do the fart eat. Wear a, wear a fart in your mouth. <laughs> Make it... Yes, good. Okay, good. All right. Okay, good, good. Jesus. All right. Order We're is right. restored. Order is restored. Really, it was really cute wait. there. <laughs> wait, we, we, we didn't actually answer the question. Oh, no, What's your guys' most we? awkward, strange I just deleted Valentine's the question back. Day. Sorry, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is your, what's your weirdest experience? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know if I had one. Mm, I don't know if I... Oh, like, the only thing I remember which was more just like a bit pathetic was... Um, Again, like when you're at school and it's this big deal, someone sent me a Valentine's Day card and I was so fucking excited and I was like buzzing over the moon. Oh my God, someone fancies me. This is amazing. And then mm -hmm. I found out it was like one of my friends who felt sorry for me <laughs> and oh, sent like, <laughs> like a, a couple of cards, to like her single friends. And it was like, oh, I really wish you hadn't even done. I, like it's sweet, the thought behind it, but it's like, that's kind of just worse than, than yeah, getting nothing at all. See, I, know that's actually, probably um, it. I know my mum and sister, I don't think they still do, but they used to exchange Valentine's cards, which Aww, I kind of think that's, that's kind of cute. That's like, yeah. cute. Like, that's just cute. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like a romantic Until the Game of Thrones one dropped. Mum. <laughs> 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 it changed oh, no. everything. Mum. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> 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 a weird ass fucking Tinder date. But like, they're always they're always fucking awkward, right? Yeah. Just like it was like talking to a fucking stone Especially wall. Especially when you were eating three kilograms yeah. of baked beans. <laughs> and you You're about to blow. <laughs> it was at, it was at an Italian place actually. And you so kept like, yeah, the beans on the <laughs> yeah, that must have been pretty weird. <laughs> so was that your first that... date? No, 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 no. It was no, a Tinder okay. date. Oh, uh, wait, no, first no, date no. with that girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I thought so you meant you went... my first ever date. <laughs> ever date. No, wait. So you went for your first date with this person on Valentine's Day. I, I Fuck just, me. You know really what? really loaded on the pressure. You know what? You, yeah. on you know what? It's just, it's just where the cards landed. You know, we matched on like fucking February 10th for some shit. And I was like, what are you doing on Saturday? <laughs> I ain't doing, doing nothing. <laughs> You ain't doing nothing. Let's go get some dinner. And she said, "Yeah." And then it was the worst date ever. Oh, tell us, was it? What was it? Awkward or? I oh, just like couldn't 
we just couldn't chat. Like, I was just chatting to her, and she would just like ignore me. I was like, okay, <laughs> kind of, kind of like I guess I was eating wow, my meal. What, wait, what, oh, she wow. just tra- <laughs> she just literally ignored you. What? Yeah. Why did she Joke. go if she just if she didn't Joke's give a on shit? You, lady. I enjoy that. <laughs> Jokes on you, Rams is fucking that. Rams is minted now and he loves that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you missed out, out bitch. Rams has a seven inch cock now. You missed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the beans I've been eating. <laughs> <Swerved>. <laughs> you may have judged me for having bean pasta, but it made my cock a big. <laughs> made his cock absolutely enormous. Brilliant. I love that this is the episode sponsored by Shaw. Sure, sure, thank you for sponsoring sure, this. I'm so glad. <laughs> so glad so I, could, I could say such horrible things in such a wonderful wonderful microphone yeah um, feels good thank you feels good, sure. <laughs> all right let's do one more question let's, let's do it yeah, we've got one from our uh a lovely a lovely pa- patron i know i said a patreon a patreon patron question a patron uh question free hi zero degrees love the podcast has become my wednesday morning lesson I draw tattoo style art as a hobby, and after five years of sketching, I've finally developed a design I like. Problem is, I am terrified of tattoo regret. The design I've chosen is small and inconspicuous, but I'm worried after... uh, Wait, I'm worried either I will regret it in time, or my friend's family won't approve. Do you have any tattoos? And if so, uh, how did you decide what you wanted, and do you still like it now? Bonus question... If you could pick each other a tattoo that would that the other would like, what would it be? Thanks. Got that so this is. It just, mm-hmm. I, I just, I would like the uh, beads, 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 Lydia's beads, beads tattoo. <laughs> beads, 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 beads. I just, my brain, yeah. my brain was like, Lydia, beads, 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 Pretty adept to uh, answer this question. Well, I got two two days ago, so this is what? actually quite well timed. You got two new tattoos. <laughs> two new tattoos two days ago, and I'm booked in for another one in two weeks. Did you steal my fucking idea? Yes, uh, yes. You uh, fucking yes. Wait, what? Wait, yes, what I fucking bitch? did. Yeah, you just fucking a bitch. massive cocker Lazo all cocker. over my arm, just wrapped around it like a <laughs> oh snake. Oh my god! It's, wow, it goes all the way up to my mouth. It's a face tattoo as well. <laughs> what? Hey, what is your tattoo idea? What's this drama? Yeah, I actually don't know what your idea is, Raz. What is it? I want I want to get a peace lily. Um, oh, no, tattooed. I didn't. Oh, no. A, a grass actually, lily. Oh, actually, wait, there might be some in it, but I didn't specifically get I that. I remember telling you that and you're like, I'm going to fucking <laughs> get that all over my body. Why? I'm going to fucking get it why? first, Raz. Wait, why grass lily? Those, the, the my, my, favorite, my favorite flower, and it's a subtle tribute to Metal Gear. Oh, the boss. Three is, yeah. yeah. I think actually some of them might be lilies. Maybe it is a grass leaf. Maybe I accidentally stole from you. I subconsciously stole from no, you, Raz, without realizing. You, you actively said at the pub, <laughs> you went on a tirade about how you were going to steal my tattoo. Idea. Wait, can we see it, Lydia, on camera? Can we confirm this right now? This is first zero degrees uh, drama. This oh, is big I can't, drama. I can't whip it out, it's, I'm afraid. It's on, it's on her fucking arse cheeks. <laughs> it's, it's on, on my arse fucking, cheeks. What the, it's on her forehead. Come on, Lydia, just fucking get it out, mate. It's uh, it's on my rib cage, so it's a bit tricky to whip out on camera. Um, but right. basically, it's like um, it's just a bunch of a bunch of flowers along my like sternum and my it rib cage. It sounds a lot like the tattoo ra- idea Rams had. I'm not gonna lie. The more you're talking about it, Lydia, the more it's sounding exactly like you did steal Rams's fun idea. I did it. I did it. Wait, do it? I, I don't know if I have. I don't know, like a picture I can show you. I don't think it's grass lilies. But honestly, I haven't specifically gone for grass lilies. If it is, what do they look like again? Grass. Lily. They look so like base- if a child drew a flower. <laughs> it's like the best way to describe oh, them. Oh yeah, they're not those. They're not those. It's fine. Okay. You're fine, Rams. I didn't accidentally steal from you. You're Beautiful. fine. Or on purpose. They are lovely, but I didn't. I don't have those. Um, next time though, I'm going in two weeks' time, so I'll make sure that she gets that involved. Um, you yeah. bitch. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> So yeah, I got um, that on my rib cage, and that was fucking painful. That took three hours all along my sternum and my rib cage. Holy motherfucker! That what did was. You, what did you say? Did you say cunt? I hate uh, this. Ow. No, you know what? I was so brave. I should have got a sticker. I was so brave. I didn't move. I just sat there and looked out the window and grimaced for three hours. Yeah. Is basically what I did. Um, and I got like a moon with some leaves on my inner right arm. Um, so going back to this person's question, uh, deciding what you wanted and, and just 
a lot of my tattoos have just been because I thought, oh, that's a nice design. Like they really rarely have any kind of meaning. Um, mm. I've got like, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six now or something like that. And only one of them has meaning. The rest are like, this is a pretty thing. <laughs> I like this. Um, so yeah, I know it's different for different people. Some people would only like to get tattoos if it means something to them, but I'm more just like, this is visually nice. <laughs> I want that. You, you I told, want to you told put me art you, on my body. You'd like never, like hadn't even seen some of the tattoos before you got them. Yeah. So with this one, I basically emailed her and was like, I would like some flowers here and something with a moon and some flowers on my arm. And she was like, okay, cool. And then I went in and she showed me the designs then. She hasn't even done one of them. She was like, I didn't really understand what you meant. I was like, oh, okay. No. And so, so she just drew it in front of me. Though. I don't really know. What's a flower? Fat. What's a flower? <laughs> so she drew it in front of me and then I just got it tattooed. So I've been, I think it's, I really love her as an artist. So I trust her to do something cool. Um, but yeah, I, for some reason, as someone who is like overthinks everything and is very like highly anxious and highly strong, for some reason with tattoos I'm like yeah it's fine <laughs> it's fine whatever I'm that's sure it'll work out yeah, that's I a just... bean tattoo go let's go you gotta do it <laughs> no I know no that's one thing I wouldn't personally get is like a joke a jokey tattoo like no, they're yeah, all of a well, very well, similar well, style it's not a joke it's your fucking life it's not a joke it's your fucking life <laughs> yeah what the fuck <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I, I like that you're self reporting that jo- no, your life is a joke <laughs> ah, my life is a joke um, but yeah what, what about you Ravs in terms of this question um, I mean, I've got two. I've got on, you know, either side of my arm because I like the idea of symmetry, which, you know, just I like having them opposite each other. Mm. I've got a uh, triforce uh, encased in a circle. And then I've got uh, the it, it, the easiest way to describe it is the, the flammable explosive logo. It's from the Massive Attack album Blue Lines. Uh, I love Massive Attack. It's one of my favorite bands. And I really like Robert Donaya's artwork. So I got those two designs. And I want to get a shit ton more, but like I'm really lazy and I haven't found an artist in Bristol uh, that, you know, I've emailed yet or anything. So I've, I just like haven't reached out to anyone and I really want to because I've got like five more tattoos I want to get. Whoa, oh, what do you want to get? Uh, I want to get like an, a kind of like, it's like a, <laughs> I can't describe it. I'd have to show you. I okay. want to get a tribute to Low Roar. I want to get one of the Low Roar album covers Mm -hmm. on my thingy because the lead singer sadly passed away in Mm -hmm. like November Uh, I want to get another piece of Robert Donaya's work from Mass Attack it's like a it's kind of like a water droplet with a a a plus in the middle it's like a helping hand aid thing Mm -hmm. Uh, oh yeah I think you showed me that one the grass lily I want to get get the grass lily and I had some other ones I was thinking about, but I, I can't describe them. So, but I, I, I want, I want more tattoos. I really like getting them. I need to get the ones I've got touched up as well. That's the thing; um, they do start I, to go blurry a bit, don't they? Mine are doing that yeah. now. Yeah, I get, I do. I'm the same. I get like a little bit anxious, but I'm also like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, it's just, just art. It's just my body. You know, I'm like, just bang it on me. Like, I don't care. I have like a very weird, um, not well, very weird, but maybe more depressing thought when it comes to tattoos. The, whenever I think like, oh, was this the right thing to do? I'm like, well, I'm going to die one day. So who gives a shit? Like <laughs> my life is such a like, you know, all of our, we're just these tiny, I watched everything everywhere all at once the other oh, day. Great. And it's that's, really, that's extensive, that's extensive extensive dread. Dread. Oh, yeah, you know. it really affirms that whole kind of like life is short and stupid and you might as well just fucking do it. And, you know, but uh, saying that. I would never want anyone just to go out and get a tattoo and regret it because it's on you for the rest of your fucking life unless you get it removed. So obviously, this I guess this is going back to what this person is saying, the anxiety of having something on them forever and what if you don't like it anymore is a very valid fear to have. I, I mean, you can. I feel like you can put a tattoo in a place where you, even you don't see it that, mm, that often mm. and you can cover it up. So if you don't like it, it's... It's not even, you know, how often are you going to see it and think about it? And if mm-hmm. you do like it, it's a cheeky little reminder of a funny thing or, you know, a cool piece of art or something, right? It's yeah. something that makes you happy and you, you, it catches your eye every so often. So I feel like there's also, a, you can go into it and do it. I, don't feel, I feel like overthinking it. I, I like your, you know, fuck it, whatever, we're all going to die. But I feel like that, <laughs> that, that, that takes you down a rabbit hole of existentialness <laughs> that probably yeah, leads to like yeah. a lot of anxiety. <laughs> yeah, that's where I spend a lot of my time. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, fuck, fuck. Like being nervous about you know other people judging you for it and shit. Oh yeah, it's your fucking your your body, man. You mm. made the art. Like enjoy it. You know if you if you're that uncomfortable about it, maybe ask your friends or family their opinion on your design. But like just, just fucking send her, bud. Mm. Just do it. Just, just fucking rock it. 
I would say, like my mom, every time I get a tattoo, she's like, why are you doing this? She doesn't like it, but she's just used to it now. Um, I think Tari's idea is the, is it would work because that's what I did. I was really nervous about getting my first tattoo. What if I hate it? Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So I just got this little tiny flowers on my rib cage, like really out of the way, barely can see it, super small. And once I was like used to this thing being on my body, it made it, it, it was easy for me to think, oh, I would like to get some more. But if I didn't, it would be fine because it would just have been like a little small tattoo that no one ever sees anyway. So mm-hmm. I think that's the way to do it if you're if you're really scared of tattoo regret. Do a do a taster tattoo, a little taster mm-hmm. tattoo to start you off. Um and if you hate it, I, never mind, you know? I bet I could talk to your mum and bring her around to you getting wants to uh, chirp your mum. He just wants to chirp your mum. Fuck my mum, Ravs. No, 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 I want to I want oh a meaning, I want a meaningful get, friendship Valentine's with Day, your mum. Lydia, it's really Valentine's Day. Come on. No, I, my mum. I oh, know. No, just I want him. a mean, yeah. I want a meaningful friendship with your mum. Is that I what you call it? Best friends. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. My mum. And he well, wants to get the he wants you to get the flowers tattoo. God damn it! <laughs> no, no, flower tattoo, Lydia. <laughs> no, I just I only want to do it so that I can tell your mum to encourage you to get the bean tattoo. Oh, <laughs> my, that's one thing. Oh, my mum. It's the long con. It's the long con, right? Maybe if I don't know, it could be some kind of goal. You know, if I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the thing would be well, like what? that. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I, well, you're going to start counting your cans of beans maybe when you have a thousand. Deal. If we get a Spotify deal. <laughs> Spotify deal. <laughs> no, well, we all or have Apple to get tattoos. Deal. Not just me. We all have to do it. We ought to get some stupid tattoo. What? Well, that's oh, feels well, brutal well, on shit. me. You do have <laughs> tattoos at least. It's just like, all right, Barry, get your first tattoo. <laughs> How come you don't have any tattoos, Harry? Is it because you're like an artist and you're like, I don't want anyone else's work on me? It's because like I'm a fucking massive pussy. Oh, um, yeah. Nah, oh, but it I hurts just so good. I just don't care. <laughs> yeah, to, you're just not interested. I, I, I just like, I'd be like, okay, cool, I could get one, but I don't. I just don't think I give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> which I know sounds like. And like I like tattoos and I like how they look I think you know people pull them off and they look cool and they mean things to people but I just don't I just not, not for you yeah, you're just I too just, much of a square you're just too much of a fucking loser like too much of a fu- I mean, nerd my, I'm currently staring at my desktop background while I record this which is just black <laughs> like, <laughs> that's my current like selection of art choices that I make in life like my right. phone background is just like a bingo color like, do you know what I mean? like oh harry you've got no soul what the fuck no but i just feel like i change what i like so much anyway it's like yeah. oh, i know that i'll change it and then i'm not gonna regret it i'll be like past time i made a good decision but then it's just like fuck i'm just going to do more to try and outweigh the old stuff that i don't like anymore it's just, it was like a whole like side of life that you know it's like a side quest right i'm like do i need do mm. i need that side quest in my life i don't no, no. Not. Yeah, you should. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not for everyone, and like you shouldn't get them just because other people have them. Like I do. It, it's interesting. I do feel like a lot more people are getting them nowadays. I think it's like forty percent. Someone, t- I'm sure it was like. Uh, well, census, let me check. Was it on the census? Something like that. How many people have tattoos? It's something like, like because you think about it, almost uh, nearly half, forty six percent of young people older than eighteen have tattoos. Uh, in fact, young people are most likely to be tattooed now as millennial parents, Parents, 62% who uh, tell that they have tattoos. So it's like super high. It, you know, most people you know will have at least one little tattoo, like half yeah. of people you know. Like my mum's got a tattoo. My dad's got a tattoo. My dad's got shit that's, tons of that's tattoos. That's shit that I also find so fucking hilariously ironic is when parents have tattoos but also don't encourage their kids to get a tattoo. Like, what? <laughs> well, that's can- her whole thing because she's like, I regret getting yeah, mine but- and you'll regret yours too. It's like it's like telling the kid, don't go and climb that tree. You know, the kid's yeah. going to go climb the tree and fall out the tree and get hurt because you, you do it you and they to. have to do it and they have to learn yep. and that's part of life and life's about these little ups and down the bits and bobs. You've got to discover it for yourself, don't yeah. you? Yeah. What? Well, okay. What tattoos would we pick for each other, though? As the little bonus. I mean, Lydia's question. getting the beans, right? I get beans. Lydia's getting the beans. I get beans. Uh, what's Ravs getting? Ravs is getting a. Um, <laughs> Ravs, is, Ravs is getting a St. George's Cross. <laughs> Nice, oh. nice, nice, nice. All across his back, like a oh, massive you back fucker. tattoo. Yeah. I had a really nice, thoughtful one for you, Harry. <laughs> and now I just want to <laughs> fucking put a big cock fucking, on your head. Fucking just, yeah. <laughs> big mushroom stamp on my forehead. Uh, <laughs> no, what's a, what's a good one for Ravs? What would Ravs like? Hmm. What do you what do you think, Lydia? 
Well, I can't I give like, him a good one. He got he gave me beans. I, I know but yours I, is I, like I, a funny, jokey one. You know right, what I mean? All right, all I mean, right, like, yeah, okay. St. George's Cross is way too harsh. Like, I feel like we would probably stop being friends because of that rap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like you would never forgive yep. me. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I could never be on that mess. You know that TV show where they like give couples give each other tattoos? Oh, yeah. God, yeah. I could, that's awful. I could never do that. No, yeah. fuck that. Um, it would have to be something Hideo Kojima related for Ravs. I yeah, feel. that's it. And I just don't know. I don't know those games well enough. Mm, I, uh, I, I, <laughs> Ravs, if you, if you, if I was the one who had to decide for you, it would just be like a giant Metal Gear Solid logo <laughs> on your back. Fuck yeah! <laughs> it's just like, it's like, your, like, your, like your grandma just like chooses your <laughs> chooses your. Christmas, like I looked up this, and this is what you like. <laughs> <laughs> you metal, like the Metal Gear. You like the Metal Gear, right? It's just like the first logo on Google Images slapped on your back. <laughs> just traced. <laughs> just traced. Is that? Is that it? Yeah. Um, what was your meaningful one for for Harry Revs? You know, I was thinking. You know, since Harry, it's just picked like a bunch of random colors and shit, and because he's an artist for like his background and shit. What about like a color hue wheel on like your mm. arm or something? Oh. That would be pretty, pretty cool. cool. That's Tattoo cute. artists would probably like really mad at you if you they requested that. But they like, hate you for that. Just all yeah, because they'd have to. They'd be like all gradients, but like, I bet that would look dope as fuck. That would like actually look really cool. That would be really interesting. That's. What, I wonder if anyone's done that. I wonder how it like turns out. Yeah, I'm sure. Let me look. I'm gonna have a Google. Gradient I, wheel tattoo. Well, I imagine it'd be see. really hard to do, right? Yeah, I guess because you've got to yeah. keep so switching look, colors, people, right? People have done it, but not faded the colors into each other. Yeah. Oh, some there's of these few, are amazing. There's a, few, there's a few that are. Some of these are really fucking good. Yeah, some of these are really cool. Yeah, the ones that have gradients in, I feel like, pull it off way better than the ones that are just blocks. Mm, more yeah, blocky. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would do Sexy Mr. Mime on Harry. Sexy <laughs> just Mr. A giant, Mime. A giant, like, pin-up pin up Mr. Mime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like those kind of old-school, like, sailor, you know, like the sexy lady pin-up girl, but in Mr. Mime he's style. Like, you know, he's, like, kind of, like, you know, pole dancing around, like, an anchor Dude. or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just looked up Mr. Mime tattoos, and some of them are fucking sick. Oh, let's have a look. There's a Mr. lot of really good Pokemon tattooers out there. Let's have a wee little look. Oh, but shit. Could... Some of these are amazing. I feel like a lot of them are very, like, colourful and I feel like if I was to ever get a tattoo it probably wouldn't be colourful yeah like the best ones of these are all the, very the, colourful you'd like, this one Harry I bet you'd fucking love this one what is this yeah that oh, one's that's pretty cool cute. I like that yeah that kind of like dot shaded so for the listeners out there it's a it's a black and white kind of like dot shaded Mr. Mime it's very cool oh yeah this is the podcast <laughs> what, what? <laughs> people can't like, see what, what we're looking at what is that? What is it like a chibi nido queen that's like very, very sexy surrounded oh by love hearts? Oh my god. Yep. Look Imagine at the pits on that. That you have that on your arm. Like oh, you know. You honey, know that, honey. I mean, what is they like, would just What the fuck? What is now there's oh. like a, a like a a, a chessy from Team Rocket doing got... like a doing the face of a sex. Oh, that's my <laughs> tattoo. That's my tattoo. I have that one. Oh my god! What the fuck? She's gumming! You're doing and the dicks are out! But there's also just a meowth that looks kind of happy and an echo there. What is that tattoo? I, like, what is. I mean, I Who don't Who wanna... gets something like that on their body for the rest of their life? That's crazy. That is nuts. That's a that crazy I don't know, man. Jesse from Team Rocket, kind of a baddie. Yeah, kind of a baddie, but she's literally like drooling style, and coming. Yeah, like, she's like, just. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Also, like, where's the end of that Ekans? I guess it's inside her. That's what I we're mean, assuming. Yeah, it's <laughs> Meow, that's wait, right. it, wait, hold on. Doesn't Ekans have like a thing at the end of it still? It's a rat Yeah, thing. ripped for her pleasure. Yeah. Rattled yeah, oh for my. her pleasure. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Ekans. Wow. On this note, I think we're going to have to end the podcast here. Um, oh my God, yeah. We've been chatting are, for a long time. Yeah, we, I, I, I've got to yep. run. Um, sure. Yep. Thank you again for sponsoring this podcast. Um, providing us some sure. amazing equipment. Be sure to check out the links. Um, and yeah, thank you. They're really, really awesome mics. We've enjoyed using them. Thank we'll... you for the free stuff. Thank you, Sean. Very generous. Um, and thank you also to all our patrons. A lot of these questions were from patrons this week. Yes. And almost all of them. I so, think they um, were, yeah. yeah. So thank you, patrons. Patreon.com slash zero degrees. I have it on my phone now and I don't know how to turn off the notifications. So I keep getting notifications, <laughs> which is very fun. Uh, send Ravs lots of notifications yep. uh, basically yep. it's like a direct access to Ravs what, really the it kind of is it actually shows up on my phone <laughs> I'm going to have to look into this um, <laughs> and please do keep sending in your questions everyone uh, yogscat.st slash zero degrees nice uh, 
we yeah. actually have received and a lot of a lot of really good high quality questions over the last mm. couple weeks. So uh, keep it up. We 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 get we'll yeah. get through them. Um, and thank you to also our patrons. Patrons, yeah. they said they spend send in special questions, and their questions mm. are usually really high quality. Really which good. Is, which yeah. is why we lean yeah. into them and do lots of them. So thank you, patrons. We appreciate your and effort. Remember to rate and review the podcast. I've not done a little review peepers in a while, but you yeah. know what? The, po- the podcast is fucking doing good, baby. So keep it up. Thank Tell you. your mum about it. Tell your friends about it. Yeah. Keep keep, keep this baby growing. Keep Tell- it growing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> baby growing. That's it. That's the outro. Yep. Right. That yep. baby. Right. Bat Everyone. Baby. <laughs> right. Bye. See you next week. See you next bye. week. Bye. 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 Bye.